Hello, this is an introduction to uploading from the Internet Archive onto Wikisource uh, in preparation for proofreading a work. Uh, this is a um, the second volume of a novel by George Gissing, um, and I'll step through how to get this onto Wikisource. The first thing is to get the Internet Archive identifier, which is this part of the URL here. We'll copy that, and we'll jump over to the IA upload script, which is tools.wmflabs.org slash IA hyphen upload. And we'll paste in the, the Internet Archive identifier there. Uh, we'll give it a file name on commons. Um, and as this is volume two, I've already put up volume one. So I'll uh, uh, copy that and go with the same uh, file naming convention. Uh, we can get rid of the dot deja vu at the end. Um, as you can see here, it will be added by the system. We hit get metadata, and uh, the IA upload tool um, requests the metadata from the Internet Archive um, and gives you a few options here. The first is the file source for the deja vu. Um, most Internet Archive items have a deja vu already. Uh, they only stopped creating them uh, late in 2016. Uh, so in this case, we can use the existing deja vu. Um, if that's not available, and it, it'll be greyed out if it's not, um, you can uh, create from JP2 or JPEG2000, uh, which is a slower uh, but um, higher quality system. Um, if, if for whatever reason that's not available, then you can create from PDF. But in some situations, the quality will be lower. In this case, we can use the existing deja vu. The next part is the uh, Google cover page. Um, some scans uh, that, that have originated at Google before they got to the Internet Archive have a Google cover page with Google uh, trademarked uh, logos on it. Um, if this image here looks like a Google thing, um, you can remove it. And if it doesn't look like a Google thing, you can leave it in. Uh, the Commons description is the text that will be put into the Commons, pa commons page. Um, Mostly it uh, can just be left as is. Um, it, it puts in links to the Internet Archive um, and various other things. Uh, sometimes it gets the author a bit wrong, so in this case we'll just fix that up there. Um, and you can make any other changes you want here as well. And then hit Upload. It'll take a, a minute or so, uh, depending on the size of the book. Um, and uh, if you're going direct from an existing deja vu, it will transfer the file immediately. If you're going from JPEG 2000 or JP2, it will put it into a job queue and the job queue will be processed. Um, I think it uh, runs every couple of minutes. So once it's finished, um, you get a link to Commons. We can follow that and we can see that we've got the file on Commons now. So uh, down here we have all the metadata we put in before um, and over here to the right we have a link to the index file. So we click on that and we come to the index page on Wikisource. Uh, we create, and again, it's filled in most of the metadata. We need to fix up some of it, um, put in links where appropriate. Um, author also needs to be a link. And pretty much everything else, it, it brings in quite correctly. The main bit we need to fix here is the page list. So uh, this um, is the correspondence between the scan numbers and the uh, actual pages as printed in the book. So if we hit preview uh, without doing anything, we'll see that there is a page list that corresponds to the, pa the scan numbers. So from one for the cover page, this red page here, through to 320. Um, that's not correct, so we need to figure out what um, uh, numbers uh, correspond to what scan numbers. So the easiest way to do this is to uh, just jump over to, um, sorry, I, I center clicked uh, to open a new tab there, um, and I'm just going to download the deja vu um, and open it locally. Uh, so the, the reason for, for downloading this again, even though we, we could have just got it from the Internet Archive to start with, is that if we had removed the Google cover page, then the page numbering would be different as it ended up on Commons. So uh, just to make sure we don't get confused, uh, this is the copy that has been uh, downloaded from Commons. 
So we can see that the cover page is page 9, so we don't need to worry about anything before that, so we'll jump back to the index page. And in here we'll go uh, 1 to 8 uh, is nothing, or rather uh, 2 to 8 is nothing, 1 is the um, cover. Uh, page 9 is the table of contents, or TOC. Uh, sorry, page 9 is the title. Uh, 10 is nothing. 11 is the table of contents. Uh, 12 is nothing. And 13 is page 1. It doesn't say page 1 here, but if we go down, the next one is page 2. So 14 is 2, therefore 13 is 1. So 13 is 1. And then it will fill in the rest of the pagination all the way through the book to the last page, 303-315. So uh, to check that we've got that correct, we can just do a preview here. And you can see it's got cover. And we have made a mistake in the first section. The abbreviation is to not hyphen. I got that wrong. Uh, so we can also check that page 302, uh, if we open that in a new tab, we can see that 302 is in fact 302. It's taking a moment to load, but I'm happy that that is the correct page. So 303 to 308 should just be empty. Uh, so that's uh, 314 to um, 320 uh, hyphen. So if we preview that again, we can see it's got the cover, it's got all the hyphens, title page, table of contents, 1 through 301. Uh, I think I made a mistake there. 302 should be the last one, so that should be 315. And if we publish that, we should be able to click on 302 and it will it will show 302 here. So we're happy with all of that. Close those extra tabs, edit this again, and the progress can now be moved to be proofread. The cover image should be the title page. The scans come from Deja Vu and we save all of that. And now it's ready for proofreading.